I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559. Same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle. What is up everyone? This $1,000 mystery box just got here from one of my subscribers. We had met up yesterday. Haven't got to the box yet, but finally have time to open this. So yeah, he wanted to remain anonymous. So no really a shout out for this video. <clears throat> he did say all the shoes would be brand new with about 25 to 30% ROI. So this box should be around 250 to $300 in profit. Hopefully this, there's some easy movers in here as well. But yeah, that's enough talking for now. Let's see what's in this. I already see a good boxes at the top. Not that many shoes. Again, it is only a thousand, so... Yeah, I can't really expect too much, but here's how it's looking. Let's go straight off with the lost and found. Oh, I see another good shoe in there. So there should be some heat in this box. This is going to be a size 10 and a half right here. So a pretty good size too. Lost and found Jordan ones. Here they are. One of the hottest Jordan 1 releases recently. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with these. And yeah, they are brand new. So very good first shoe from this box. Super good start. Let's see what a size 10 and a half is going for. And a size 10 and a half for those. They're going for 400 right now. So 400, that's already 40% of what I paid just with one shoe. So really good start here. Let's keep it moving with this. This is also a good shoe. I have no idea what market is on it. I haven't got this in a while. It's a size 10 and a half, so two size 10 and a half to start off. And see Jordan 4 UNCs right here. Comment down below, which one do you guys prefer? The Jordan 4 UNCs or the Lost and Found ones? It's both really good shoes. And a size 10 and a half for UNC 4s. They're going for, I'm just gonna round it up to 490. This is a super good Jordan 4, a good size. I think I could sell it for the around lowest ask so 490 for that that's 890 already so i'm only 110 away from what i paid and i'm i'm only two shoes in yeah i only have two more shoes to go but these might be more bangers size six dunk low right here so a pretty small size they are the black gum colorway i don't think these are going to go for anything too much Wherever he got it from had it marked at 200. I'm gonna guess uh, um, 140. This is what it's gonna be going for. And yeah, size six for the black gums. Like I said, lowest ask is at 140. So with 140, that adds up to 1,030. So I'm already at 30 dollars over what I paid. So one more shoe to go. So here it is, the last shoe to end off here. This is a Jordan 12, size nine and a half. Don't really get 12s often. But it is the, I think these are the, the Bordeaux Jordan 12s. Wherever he got it from, had it marked at 300. So this isn't my favorite 12. I gotten them in the past. They've been kind of harder to move. But thankfully, this is brand new. And the box is in really good condition. So if anything, just flip it online. But yeah, this is the last shoe overall. Let's just check out what they're going for. And a size nine and a half for those. There's a pretty big difference between ask and bid. Like I said, in the past, those have been pretty hard to move. Um, last sell was 320. I do not think I'll be able to get more than 300 for them. You see the recent sales are kind of inconsistent. Some over 300, some under. So, like I said, from my experience, I'm going to mark this at like 260. I still think that might be a little too high, but who knows. So with 260, that still adds up to 1290. Let's just add 10, 1300. But he must have marked those even lower because he said the box would be around 20 to 25 to 30% ROI. But yeah, that's the box, guys. I know I went through this really fast, and, and I see a lot of comments where you guys don't really like when I post shorter videos. So instead of ending it, I'm going to wait until I get another $1,000 box from someone, and we'll compare those two boxes. So yeah, you can tell by the title, probably it'll say comparing two boxes. So this is the first box. Let me know what you guys think. I don't even have another $1,000 box yet, but I'm going to wait until I get one before posting this one. So yeah, next clip will be when I have the other one. All right, so it's been about three days since the other clip, but I finally got another $1,000 box. This one is from the sneaker store City Stars. It's like my 100th box from them. I always do business with them, but yeah, let's just get it open. 
Honestly, I already forgot how much the other box was worth. I think around 1200, 1250 or 1300. I don't know, but yeah, that's gonna be a pretty hard box to beat. So let's see if City Stars can beat it. But here's how their thousand dollar box is looking. So let's get into this. Here's the first shoe, a Jordan one. Size nine and a half, an older label to start off here. Has a goat stuff in here. And you see it's wrapped in the sandwich bag, but here's the shoe. I think these are the all-star Jordan ones. Yeah, I've gotten this in the past. I don't know why it's wrapped. So yeah, I'm just gonna get it out and then I'll show you guys what they're going for. First of all, look at these <clears throat> all-star Jordan ones real quick. Look at the glittering on here. I've never seen it like that before. You just wipe it and everything. So dang, I don't, that's crazy. I've never seen that, but anyways, the size nine and a half at the moment. There's a pretty big difference between ask and bid. The last sale was about 330. I'm gonna mark it a little lower just cause I think, I don't know, these are gonna be a little tougher to sell. I'm gonna mark it at 320. So 320 for that. Still a good shoe, an older Jordan one, brand new, good size. So let's move on here. Looks like four more shoes total. So five shoes all together. Jordan 13, size nine. And it's this shoe. It's funny, I just got this a few weeks ago from a different box. And when I had gotten it, that was the first time I ever got those. So already my second time getting it in the past couple of weeks. Um, this sold the same day I got it surprisingly, but I don't know, I still feel like these might be harder to move. Yeah, size 9 for those, just like the All-Star Jordan 1s. Big difference between market or asking bid. Last sale was 350 More recent sales actually look pretty decent too. Some around 250 280-ish. Um, I'm market at 300 I still feel like that might be hard to get, especially for Jordan 13s. But, I don't know, hopefully I could get a good amount for them. So 620 with the first two. Let's go on. Three more shoes to go. Here's this, a Dunk Glow in a size 5. So a small size, and they're the Sesame Dunks. Not a big fan of these. I had a size 9 the other day, and it literally took me a few months to sell. So, in the smaller size, I don't know, but yeah, this is the next shoe, though. And third shoe from here, where the Ask and Bid is just so far apart. The last sell was just 115 though. More recent sales, even lower than that. Some higher, but like I said, it's a small size. I'm gonna mark it at like 110. Like I said, the other one, which was a good size, it was a size nine. It took forever to sell, so I don't know how long it's gonna take for this size, for this size five to sell. But yeah, this is the first three shoes. Not the best start, honestly. Hopefully these last two shoes are pretty good to end off. Size 10, Jordan 1 low. So at least this is a good size. Hopefully it's a good shoe. And it's the light smoke gray Jordan 1 lows. So these are decent. They're not too bad. Um, I think market might be around 140. It's a good colorway though. Okay, market's pretty good on them. A size 10. I'm just going to round it up a dollar to 180. So 180 for that. 910. So I don't know. Let's get through the last box first before I say what I was about to say. But this is a size eight and a half dunk low, so a pretty good size. And it's a Syracuse dunks. So this is a good shoe to end off. This is a really good colorway, one of the more easier ones to move, one of the more nicer ones. Market did drop a lot after they restocked, but they should still be going for a decent amount. So a size eight and a half for the Syracuse dunks, going for 240. So it's actually higher than I thought. But with 240, everything only adds up to 1150. What I was going to say in the last clip was, I think they might have marked these two more towards Lois Ask. And maybe even the Sesame Dunks too, but um, yeah, that's the box though. 1150 in total, I paid 1000 But yeah, hopefully I could get more for the first three shoes I opened. But we're going to see, but yeah, that's the box guys. Here's the $1,000 box from City Stars. And then compare it to the other box that I opened in the other clip from... An Instagram reseller, one of my subscribers. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think of these boxes, which one's better, um, what your favorite shoe is overall from both two, or from both of them. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.
I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559. Same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle.